Hey horse friends, I'm Becca Salamone and this is Southern Horse Talk. I'm on location at the Alabama Horse Fair at Garrett Coliseum in Montgomery, Alabama for their annual event. It's going to be two days this year, March 5th and 6th, so come on out. And I'm standing here with two friends, Patty and Rita from NATRC, and that's, you call it NATRAC, right? Yes, you can call it either one, but um, it stands for National Association of Trail Riders Conference. And it's a national organization, but we have five regions all over the nation. Um, region 5 is, uh, includes Alabama, and uh, that's all the states east of the Mississippi. And um, we have four rides in Alabama this year, and I'm going to hark mine that I'm managing a ride. Um, it's April the 9th and 10th, and it's going to be at uh, the Heart of Dixie. Awesome. And, and we call it the Spring in Dixie Ride. And it's usually a little bit wet, but it's a great place to try NATRAC. We have a mentorship program that we would love to, to help somebody that's never done it before so they feel more comfortable. Um, we have a website. It's natrc.org. And we're Region 5, so you can go to the National, and then you can pull over to Region 5, and it tells all the rides. And then I was going to let Rita tell you a little bit about the... Um, uh, the novice division and what types of riding and, and how long they are because some people go oh how long do I need yeah. to be in the saddle well definitely yeah could, but you know before you go into the de details like that just kind of explain a little bit about what it is you know for somebody who's never even heard of it in a NATRC is a competitive uh, riding competition not, uh, I would like to say that it's more competitive with yourself and your horse. Um, it's not as aggressive as other type of um, equestrian programs. You are competing against an obstacle, basically. It's, it is to improve your skills and your strategies with your horse. Um, we have um, a great website that you can go to, natrc.org where you can go and look up information. There are frequently asked questions that can give you information how to prepare yourself and your horse as far as conditioning and prepare them for obstacles for those events. Uh, the novice division is made up of those who are new to the program. And the novice division will um, prepare you and your horse for those more advanced um, divisions. We usually ride about 15 miles per day, and that could be up to three and a half to four miles per hour, and uh, that could take you up to four, four hours. So you're going to be in the saddle about that long, but we do also have a mentor program that um, keeps us very prepared and uh, keeps our anxieties down. <laughs> so people volunteer to be in the, the mentor program? People do volunteer. We have um, national champions who volunteer to be a part of that program. They are by our side all the way. We have clinics that they put on themselves and sponsor themselves to prepare all of us, and we usually have one or two of those per year. Okay, and what kind of horses and what kind of tack are people using to do this kind of event? Um, you can use any type of tack that you or feel comfortable in. A lot of people use the endurance type saddles um, because they're lighter. Um, but um, the, the, we have all kind of breeds. We have um, Arabians, we have Tennessee Walkers, we have Missouri's Box Trotters. Um, we have a we have some grade horses. We have um, Percheron um, thoroughbred mix that does wow. really fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, so we, it's just any, for any horse, and it just gives you that extra time with your horse on the trail with some uh, focused goals in mind, and you're able to um, just kind of come up with some good challenges for them. We have obstacles on the trail um, that are usually something that you would naturally come across on the trail, maybe a log over the trail, and you need to um, step over that log. Um, uh, some of the more difficult ones might be side passing or turning on the haunches, but most of the novice ones are very simple and just gives you that uh, opportunity to do something a little different with your horse. And, and when you come to those obstacles, do you have the judges standing there watching? Yes. You can tell them about <laughs> judges are always watching. Even when we're not at the obstacles, the judges could be in the trees hiding, watching us. And uh, well, you just never know. And they may come out of the trees. And that is an obstacle in itself. You should always be prepared. <laughs>
So tell us a little bit more about the event coming up in April. Um, it's at the Heart of Dixie um, in Troy, Alabama. And um, you can sign up on the um, website. Uh, you just go to, to Region 5 NATRC. You could just go straight to Google and find that. Um, and then there's also a number you can call on that site that if you have any questions. Um, sometimes the website can be a little funny to get into, so we um, just we have a person you can call. Uh, but um, anyway, it's uh, coming up, and we will hopefully not be too wet, but they have <laughs> stalls there. They have covered stalls, and if you don't have a living uh, quarter, they have um, cabins that you can use. And yeah, It's um, a great facility. It's, it's wonderful. So that's, uh, we actually do two rides there because it is so easy. And that's a good one to, to be your first ride into try and a track. Um, you could do a one-day ride um, or you could do a two-day ride. And uh, then we have a nice award, award ceremony at the end. Okay. And now, now um, I'm sure you, oh, there's a little pony right there. I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> just walking down. Yeah, it's just walking in the middle of the building. Um, I'm sure you both ride. So what is your favorite part of this sport? Anybody? Hmm. <laughs> I think really the favorite, uh, of course we all enjoy our horses and being with them. Um, it gives us an opportunity to just, after the ride, to just sit down and relax with them. But I think the next thing about um, this is probably the camaraderie that we have among our fellow horse people. Um, this was my first year to compete. And I have met so many wonderful people. They have rallied around me, uh, mentors to just everyone else, and really supported me along the way. And I think that's just, it's just a very family-oriented organization. And I love that aspect of it. Um, it's it's family-oriented. Come, bring your children, um, ages 10 and up. Uh, those children will need to ride with an adult. Um, if you have family members that don't ride, bring them with you because we need volunteers. <laughs> and this year we are waiving, and our NATRC is waiving the annual membership fee. So it's a wonderful opportunity for you and your family to get involved now. That's awesome. And how many years has the uh, NATRAC been in existence? Do you know? Um, 55 years. It has not, it really. It has, yes. That shocks me. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. Yes. Wow. It's uh, 55 years. We um, had a, we were having a national convention um, in 2017 in Chattanooga, so we kind of try to mix that up, but um, I, I remember the 50th, so um, wow. I've been doing it about seven years, and Rita, just a year. Yes. A year, so yes. She's, okay. uh, she jumped in with both feet. So. She's a newbie. <laughs> So, um, is it in every state and is it international? It is not international, but it is national and we have um, six regions and Region 5 is, of course includes everything east of the Mississippi, but um, the, there's other regions, you can ride out a region, we have other people that come over to our region to ride from, we've had one group come from California, they wow. trailered their horse and did a ride in every region. They called that the R2 Detour, which is, they were Region 2, so it was a very cute. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, they uh, can ride, we can go out of Region to ride to it just a little bit further to travel. Okay. So, um, well, I appreciate y'all stopping by the booth today to tell me about Natrag. I really just didn't know all that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank definitely. You. So, um, do you want to share, like, a phone number or email? I know you shared the website. Sure. Um, my uh, phone number is 205-999-7580, um, Patty Lucas, okay. if you'd like to contact about yes. NATAC. So you can, you can call Patty and ask, you know, any yeah. questions that you have. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate it again, and um, we'll see y'all over at your booth later at the fair. Right. And uh, viewers, you can go to Southern Horse Talk Facebook group and join over there, and you can share your horse story, your picture, videos, and, of course, help us share our Southern equine lifestyle that we love. <laughs>